Qualifying 10, the number 202. Put your hands together for Joey Sagan. Qualifying 9th, put your hands together, the 136, Corn Todd. Qualifying 8th, the 999 of Colby Crapo. Qualifying 7th, the number 9 of Darren Mead. Qualifying six, the number 52 of Johan Liedman. Qualifying fifth, the 312 of Danny Poirier. Qualifying fourth, the 271 of Peter Narsa. Qualifying third, the number four of Robbie Malinowski. Year number two qualifier, the 837 of Ross Martin. And your number one qualifier, the number 11 of Tim Tremblay. Gentlemen, start your engines! the bat Malinowski is off the track. Wow. Wow, I'll tell you what, it is the 837 machine. Ross Martin, Tim Tremblay in second. And Robbie, you got a live mic there, my friend. So it is the 837 of Ross Martin out front. Ross Martin out in front. Tim Tremblay in second. Johan Liedman in third. Fifteen laps. Two down. moves up into the third spot as he blocks out Johan Liedman. So Peter Narsa is in third. Ross Martin out in front. Tim Tremblay holds on to the second spot. Peter Narsa in third. Johan Liedman drops to four. Leader Tim uh, Ross Martin out in front of Tim Tremblay holds on to about a 3.8 second lead. Third place Peter Narsa about five seconds behind Ross Martin. Ross just putting on a display out in front right now.
Your race leader coming to the finish line right there, the 837 of Ross Martin out in front. Tim Tremblay continues on in second. Ross Martin starting to pull away from the pack, but the last lap, it was actually Tim Tremblay who ran one one hundredth of a second faster than Ross Martin. Clicking off laps, eight laps in. Ross Martin, Tim Tremblay, Peter Narsa. And it's a 52 of Johan Liebman. The number nine of Darren Mees pulls off track. So your leaders completing 10 laps, five to go. Ross Martin still out in front. Tim Tremblay made up a little bit of time as he ran a little bit faster lap, two laps to go. That'll move him up. He's still about 2.4 seconds off of the leader. Then Tremblay starting to pull away from Peter Narsa a little bit as he runs 6.7 seconds behind your leader. And coming out of turn four, this is your leader, the 837 machine of Ross Martin, just now crossing the finish line. Look at this, Tim, Tim Tremblay's made up a little bit of time on that last lap. He is now 1.6 seconds behind our leader and closing. So I wonder, could Tim Tremblay get back into the mix with Ross Martin? Trying to look and see if I see anything wrong with Ross Martin's sled or if he's just starting to close that gap. Uh, you know, lap times this past time by, uh, Tim Tremblay ran six tenths of a second faster lap. This time, Tim Tremblay runs again that fast. The difference, 1.1 seconds between Ross Martin and Tim Tremblay. Tim Tremblay closing the gap. Third is still Peter Narsa, Johan Liedman in fourth. Lap traffic gonna come into play here, that's for sure. As of course the Jimmy Johns is throwing out some freaky fast delivery. As they're throwing some sandwiches to the crowd from Jimmy Johns. White flag is out, one lap to go. And it is Ross Martin, Tim Tremblay. Tremblay is right on his bumper. Ross knows Tim Tremblay is in it. And now, it's going to be down to the last turn. Lap traffic between them. It isn't going to happen, folks. Lap traffic did come into play. Oh, and he holds on. Checkered flag. 837. Ross Martin takes the win. It makes me wonder, as Tim Tremblay came into turn four, there was lap traffic between them and held up Tim Tremblay. It does make you wonder if it would have been different if there wasn't lap traffic there. And a broken shock on the 20, 271. The 271 machine. Out of Ross of now. He, oh, he, look at Ross. He's got all the hardware, Robbie. I don't even know how I can sneak in here without upsetting my cameraman. You guys got everything you need? Can I jive in now? Are we all good? And then we'll give him, you some more time after. Okay, Ross. Gee whiz, you won. It must feel amazing. Yeah, it feels great, man. <laughs> Dude, screw that. You're a brother of mine. The family, I mean, you've come here and been denied. You guys, uh, as well as the Shearing Spirit Sports team, 
Um, you're giving up quite a bit as far as what's going to be happening next weekend in the sense that you're not at altitude right now. You're not out there acclimatizing like darn near half the rest of the Emsil Championship Snowcross field is doing in Aspen. Um, you're here. And it's, it's for a lot more than the fact that, that Amsoil is the sponsor and Amsoil is one of your big sponsors. You love this state. It's your state. Yeah, definitely. It feels great to be in Wisconsin racing any time, and the fans are always great. And This race is a big one for us, no matter what way you look at it. I mean, the um, top guys were here, and you see, we put on a show. I went all the way up until today undefeated, and 